One artist who's been tirelessly telling fans to stay indoors is the Japanese musician Yoshiki. He's also donated $100,000 to the Grammys Fund, which supports musicians who have been affected by COVID-19. And he's also accompanied Bono, Will I Am, and Jennifer Hudson on piano in their song Sing for Life, which was inspired by Italians singing from their balconies. Let's have a listen. So we saw Yoshiki there on piano. He joins us live now from his home in Los Angeles. It's great to see you. I know you're in a isolation and lockdown like so many of us. Now, when it comes to telling your hundreds of thousands of fans to stay indoors, you're really strong with that message. What response are you getting, Yoshiki? Well, first of all, I you know go back and forth between Japan and Los Angeles. So then I really, really care about my fans' health, uh, including my family, friends. So, you know, depends on where you live, the information you get was, was different. So, because in America, even one month ago, was like people didn't think about that this was such a big deal. But suddenly, that's a state of emergency. Then Japan happened to be a little bit, little bit, you know, delaying the information. So getting the information a little later, I was like, I was urging for my Japanese fans to be prepared for this. Don't take this one lightly. So that's, uh, you know, I was really concerned about my fans' health and everything. And so are, are your fans, because you, you've got a lot of fans, let's be honest about it, how are they reacting to you when, they, when you tell them, look, it's really important just to save lives, protect yourselves, protect others, stay inside? Are they listening to you? Yes, completely. I mean, you know, also not only my fans, some of my colleagues, band members, I mean, you know, the musicians, and then, yes, yeah, they are really like, you know, okay, they take it, took it seriously. I told them, be extra cautious. This virus is very unknown, you know, so just better safe than sorry. That's been telling them throughout, actually, the past several weeks, yes. Then they took it very seriously, yes. And Yoshiki, you got into a collaboration with Will I Am, with Bono, Jennifer Hudson. How have people been reacting to Sing for Life? Is it going down well? Yes, so, I mean, you know, our purpose was trying to lift up their spirits. So even though, you know, we are kind of staying home and alone, but we are kind of physical distancing. I would rather say physical distancing over social distancing. So we are not completely alone, we can still connect, you know, we can, you know, share our thoughts, our heart and everything. So that so songs are all about we are not alone. That, uh, and I know yeah. as, as a musician, you're concerned for fellow artists who've been affected by COVID-19. Just tell us a little bit about what you've been doing personally to support them. Yes, uh, I donated Grammy and Music Care um, COVID-19 relief fund, fund like $100,000, something like that, um, you know, uh, again, as a musician, I would like to really support my, you know, fellow colleagues. But at the same time, we are not the only one hit by this COVID-19 crisis. So I would like to support, you know, as of now, healthcare workers are the most important. I mean, they are the ones saving our lives. So I would like to keep supporting, you know, these people. Yeah, because I really care about all those people. I mean, again, you know, first of all, my fans, most important, maybe more than my life, because my life was supported, uh, surrounded by death. My father committed suicide, my band member died, but my fans are the ones saved me, saved my life. So I really want to support my fans and you, my friends. Yoshiki, I'm sure that they will be very heartened to hear your support. Thank you for your kind words and thank you for your time. Yoshiki there, the musician joining us live from Los Angeles. Thank you for joining us as well here on Outside Source. Do stay safe.